Hi everybody, here's a video about data warehouse concept. Enjoy! Inmon and Kimball have created a great debate in information technology during the last decade. They both relentlessly thrived for conceptualizing information management for decision support. They approached the problem with different philosophies, design techniques, and implementation strategies. I'm going to explain to you about the analysis of these two approaches based on the issues raised and discovered. Bill Inman and Ralph Kimball are the two pioneers that started different philosophies for enterprise-wide information gathering, information management, and analytics for the decision support. Inman believes in creating single enterprise-wide data warehouse for achieving an overall business intelligence system. Kimball believes in creating several smaller data marts for achieving department-level analysis and reporting. I'm going to give you a short explanation about these two experts' structures, approaches, and their common goals. Bill Inman's philosophy recommends to start with building a large centralized enterprise-wide data warehouse, followed by several satellite databases to serve the analytical needs of departments, which later known as data marts. Hence, this approach has received the top-down title. While Bill Kimball's, sorry, Ralph Kimball's philosophy recommends to start with building several data marts that serve the analytical needs of departments followed by virtually integrating these data marts for consistency through an information bus. Hence, this approach received the bottom-up title. Mr. Kimball believes in various data marts that store information in dimensional models to quickly address the needs of various departments and various areas of the enterprise data. And now for the structure. Besides the difference in approaches, Bill Inman and Ralph Kimball also differ in the structure of data. Inman believes in creating a relational model, which is the third normal form, whereas Kimball believes in creating a multi-dimension model, which is a star schema and snowflakes. Inman argues that once the data is in a relational model, it will attain the enterprise-wide consistency, which makes it easier to spawn off the data marts in dimensional model. While Kimball argues that the actual users can understand, analyze, aggregate, and explore data inconsistencies in an easier manner if the data is structured in a dimensional model. Additionally, to enable the information bus, data marts are categorized as atomic data marts and aggregated data marts that both use dimensional model. Irrespective of the structural differences in the model, both Inman and Kimball agrees that there is a need to separate the detailed level data from aggregated level data. Though Inman and Kimball have different philosophies to their approach, they do tend to agree with each other in an indirect manner. Though Inman's basis is on a single data warehouse, he stressed on iterative approach and discouraged the Big Bang approach. On the other hand, Though Kimball's philosophy is too quickly to create a few successful data marts at a time, he stressed on integration for consistency via an, inf via an information bus. Bill Inman and Ralph Kimball have seen the world of accessing enterprise-wide data with different set of eyes. They both agree that easier access of enterprise data in an accurate and timely manner is the key success factor for creating an integrated solution for corporate information. Inman has definitely foreseen the hurdles in the issues with data management through integration. Inman presented them in a very academic manner that cannot be ignored. Several failures in the market can be attributed due to ignoring what Inman, Inman has warned about. However, Kimball has brought forward a practical approach that corporations love to execute with a project mindset that has definitive budget and time. Inman's writings usually tend to generalize a concept with little attention to the technical details. Kimball's writings try to establish a definitive science that includes implementation techniques with abundant examples. However, data accuracy is still the monster that needs to be conquered by several organizations. Thank you for watching. Bye.